hello there YouTube a little less than shiny morning this morning as far as I know it's supposed to be nice I think it's just a, a fog thing so we ordered a dumpster and we wanted you know the back facing this way and the front facing out so you know they can easily come pick it up and the guy shows up in a flatbed and that's how he dumps it seriously man oh man Alrighty. You know, the one nice thing about spring coming, even though most of that's like weeds out there, there are some, these little trees, they're just those mutt trees. Man, them, them suckers grow fast, don't they? Yeah, they're industrious little guys. But weeds and all, it's kind of turning it green so it doesn't look so, so horrible. Well, little woman? Just a hubby. Start of a new day. Right. Not quite so sunny today, but yeah. that's all right. It's cooler. Yeah. It's, it's, it's actually quite melting. comfortable. Yeah. Say in 57. Yeah. As long as you got your layers, you're comfy. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm going to roll on down. All right. I love you. Love. See you then. Bye. <laughs> love, love, love. <laughs> Can't speak this morning. All right. See ya. Bye. Bye. All right. So, looks like we're getting back on this today. And to help me out, Ryan's going to, because it's got the first service, he's going to put the, or do the first service and install the fog lights we're gonna try to get this thing busted out today get this fine gentleman back on his speed eater so ryan got the service busted out looks like he's still doing the the belt um got his fog lights installed and i just need to finish the trunk and the backrest and trailer hitch that'll be it oh he already did the belt and put a new cotter pin in there i have to take that cotter pin back out because the hitch has its own bolt and cotter pin <laughs> anyway this is a wonderful 2016 BMW R 1200R oh, I love these R models they're so cool and so fun to ride it's in for its first service which is you know basically it's between I think they say between 5 and 7 and he's just over 600 how does that even happen Things just happen in life. Or who knows, you might have found somebody that had one of these still sitting on their floor. That seems almost impossible, but anything can happen. Love these things. And it's just so, I mean, it's just bare bones. It's a, you know, stripped down sport bike. He's added the shield to it. And uh, he's added some other little accessories there too can I get out of here I think I can probably squeeze right here if the motor fits the rest of the bike does so I don't think it's I don't know if it's even made it to 70 out here I'm wearing a coat on a test ride is glass smooth man that they didn't go glass smooth until 2018 I get more people asking me emailing about rough shifting especially first through third either going up or down on the uh, shift assist pro and the only cure is to buy an 18 <laughs> sure you want to hear that I mean it still works it's just uh, sometimes you have to put a little unnecessary force on it and I don't like doing it I try not to use it as much as possible I'll do it when I'm test riding some guy's bike so watch it's third fourth fifth sixth glass but watch this third yeah see there's a little See, that was a little rough going down. That's normal. That's not, that's not a fault. It's just the way they were. I mean, the computer does its stuff. It's not hurting the transmission. It just, it just feels a little odd to put that kind of pressure on the lever. The shifting apparatus. But because I ride so many different bikes, it's, it's good for me not to get too comfortable with Shift Assist Pro. 
although I love it. Oh man, it's so nice to use. <laughs> a little, little youngster there. Man, it's actually quite cool moving down the road on a motorcycle. I apologize for any rattling noise you're hearing. That, that shield, windshield on the bike is making the face shield on my helmet shudder. Although the air hitting me is very, very smooth coming off of it. I don't understand why it's making my shield rattle. And oh, the shield bolt isn't coming out because this is a Chewy helmet that doesn't use the bolt. It's that clip style. Oh no, it's dead end road. Man, does it like everything in you when you see little walkways like that want to just go busting down that? <laughs> Boy, pedestrians and cyclists do not see the humor in that at all. I won't tell you how I know that. shield idea but for like goofing around like at home but inevitably you'd take one of these things somewhere I mean it's so comfortable and you know it's a BMW K5X travel around the world on this thing so I'd probably end up with a shield of some sort on there that thing looks really nice Really nice. Oh, Wiki dinky. That's a cool display. That my camera might be at an angle you can't see it. Just like a LCD type display. Kind of old school looking, but very, very readable. And obviously going to be crazy reliable. Not that, you know, I say that. But when's the last time you've seen an issue with a display on a motorcycle? Old, new, or whatever. It just, I don't know. It just doesn't seem to be an issue. Yeah, it's so weird that that air is hitting me so clean, but yet making my shield, face shield rattle. Does it make any sense? There must be some little swirl going on there somewhere. With the exception of today and I think tomorrow and then maybe Sunday looks like Sunday we might have like a 20 or 30 percent chance of rain but usually this time of year you know in the winter time if it's three percent chance of rain it's gonna rain it's gonna rain three percent of the time all day a hundred percent of the time <laughs> Sorry if I bore you taking the same route, but I pick these things, I find these things, because it it does so many things. I, I'm not even looking, he's looking at chop. It does so many things. There's rough, there's smooth, there's a lot of stop and go. So you get acceleration, braking, all that stuff. If it's something to do with speed, I take a, there's a little extended portion, which I've taken you guys on. So it, it's, it's a route I always take. And if you take the same route all the time and something does something weird, you don't go, oh, well, maybe it was uh, something in the road. And, you know, I just was an unfamiliar road. It might have been road surface. Nope. I take the same road, the same route every time. So if something's weird, I will know. It's just a kind of a checks and balances kind of a thing. These things just feel so light. I don't know what they weigh. I'm sure in the motorcycle scheme of things, it's probably heavy. I wonder if I have a spot up here inside the door. Oh, there's another R1200R sitting in the doorway. I'll park it down 
downstairs. I don't want it to be in the in the general lineup. But yeah, there. You guys, I don't know if you can make that out. The top of the hill is a red and white one, just like this one. Well, as always, thank you guys very much for coming along on a little testy test ride. Didn't push it hard enough, did I? Yeah, buddy. I sure enjoy those bikes. Those boxer motors. What a dream. I spoke to the gentleman that that now owns the um, R1200 GS exclusive that I had for a couple weeks or whatever. He was in today. He got a, something in his tire. But uh, anyway, he just absolutely loves that thing. He goes, oh, and the sound of that boxer is just so addicting. Man, I'm telling you, it's a different sound, but it has that kind of hardly a, you know, affection to it. That just, just can't get enough of it. All right, back to the spider. You know, I was telling you guys about the, the dirt riding on this thing. My son was doing the service and adjusting the belt. Unfortunately, come on, camera, focus. Found a big old chunk taken out of it. So he's up there talking to the service advisors. Poor guy's gonna need a belt for this thing. Dadgummit, that's a bummer. Look at that beauty. Be doing a, I'm not sure which service on this. Oh, the BMW I was riding, I forgot to come back on and tell you guys. I was going by the firmware, I was doing software upgrades and the firmware was 2016, so I assumed that the 1200R was a 16 as well, it was actually a 17. She's got 18 firmware on her now. She's been reflashed. All right, man. Only thing left. Only thing left is a trunk. And I'll bust that thing out in the morning and put all its body work back on. He'd be rolling. Well, he needs a belt, but I think Ryan's gonna do that. Well, Mama, now that we're already driving down the road, yes. <laughs> I guess I could let him know we done left work. Yeah. We done checked out. Not that you're even gonna hear me in all this wind. But we're we're at Wally World. Our dogs are being picky with the food all of a sudden, so we're gonna go back to a brand that we always, we know they always like. Wow, it is windy as heck here. Yeah. Buy the good stuff for them, they don't like it. No. It's, it's a good brand. It's just whatever tractor supply has, they don't seem to like it. Oh yeah, they're repainting it. I think I like the more neutral colors than the kind of white and gray they got going on. I guess we'll see when they're done. Yeah, um, I don't know. I'll have to see how that thing comes out, but I don't like automatically. I don't like the blue around the wall. Yeah, it just had a nice homey, rustic, yeah. natural color look to it. it always oh, he's got to change stuff around. That gummit woman, you didn't go out there and clean that windshield while we were at work? No, I'm sorry. I failed again. You ever notice it's always windy in woodland? Always. It's comfortable, though. It ain't good for filming, but it's comfortable. It's comfortable during the summer. Other than that, it's just cold and bitter. We got out of here for less than 100 bucks. Very good. Score. Yeah. yeah, big time. All right, let's hit the road. All right, Jack. All right. So I grabbed my camera earlier. We had escapees, little bitty, which I showed you the wrong one that Kelly's calling little little bitty. It's the one with little white feet. <laughs> but anyway, I was gonna say it's gonna be nice to get some of the junk out of the garage, and we just we're gonna have this thing for a month or two. it's only 125 bucks a month, and they come once a week to dump it. And I uh, just get just junk that we've collected. Half of it are kids still. Get that cleaned out of here. It'll be very nice. What you doing, Annie? Huh? And Sachi? All the sun went away. And it dropped like 66 degrees. 
Still very nice and pleasant feeling out here. Well, hello there, YouTube. Sorry, it's uh, overcast out here again today, or it is today. Nice and cool. It hasn't been overcast in a while, but um, yeah, it's, it's cool, which is good. Working, uh, just cleaning up stuff, getting that because they dropped it off this morning, and uh, their first pickup cycle is tomorrow morning. So, go go ahead and get what we can in there. Get our get our money's worth out of it. Yeah, get all kinds of barn junk in there. Yeah, get all kinds of crap in there. Man, you can get a lot of stuff in that thing. So, uh, anyway, we'll keep it around for a while. We just we just ordered a, a monthly cycle of it, so it gets dumped four times a week. That'd be a lot of garbage, but you never know. We got a lot of garbage. We got a lot of Ryan stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. There's a lot of junk. Mm -hmm. We've been needing to do this for a while. <laughs> yeah. Kids Gar leave, they never take their stuff. Yeah, garage stuff stacking up, just a mess. And one of them don't. Yep, Sasha had to go over there and disturb them guinea fowl over there and it oh, sets yeah. them off. They're like little watchdogs. Anyway, we're going to cut it quick because uh, i got a lot to do. It's already getting dark and, and uh, I need to sit down. i still got to build a video when this is all done as well, too. be up to wee hours of the night. Yeah, you do that enough. <laughs> so uh, we're going to roll out early on you. Alrighty. Or quickly, anyway. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And I hope your Wednesday and Thursday are wonderful. Thank you. Or crazy, or just bizarre, or, you know, just enjoyable. Yeah, something <laughs> interesting. Whether it's silly, funny, yeah, crazy. <laughs> as long as it's good. Yeah. Okie doke. All right. Is that it? That's all I got, Back Paul. to the grind? Yeah, back to her. All right. All right. You guys take care. <laughs> we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you, guys. You guys have a wonderful day.